It just keeps getting worse. Every episode, there's so many layers, so many questions I have, but I guess that's just the full Attack on Titan experience, and we have to accept it for what it really is. Welcome back, everybody, as we continue to watch through Attack on Titan season number two. This is the third episode in the season. I'm so excited to get into it, but before we do, let's talk about what happened in the last episode. We got a really cool moment for Sasha in particular. As it was found out that the Titans were attacking, Sasha decided to go to her hometown. While traveling there, she got some flashbacks of her and her dad, we got to learn some stuff about her past, and when she finally reached her hometown, she didn't recognize everything right off the bat. Things looked different than they had before. She stumbled upon a house where she found a titan eating a woman in front of her daughter. The little girl being petrified with fear, she was immobilized. But Sasha swooped in, saved the day, she protected the little girl, and she found courage within herself to actually take down that titan. It was really cool to see Sasha gain the courage to do this. She believes in herself at this point, even though she's always been a little different her whole life. People like Yumi Mir had been Look unkind to her, but people like Krista have encouraged her to be brave and strong. So she was, and that was awesome. She then met up with her dad, which I guess she hadn't seen in a while. It was a happy moment, but that didn't last for long because we had a stark contrast with Connie's side of things. He also headed toward his hometown, which was also under siege from the Titan, only to find everything completely destroyed. Nobody's in the town, and for some reason, there's a very strange looking Titan laying down on top of his okay. house. I couldn't pinpoint if this Titan was like decaying carrying if it was actually still alive and it was just laying there. Why was it laying there? Who put it there? Did he fall down by himself? Is Connie's family okay? We don't know. I got a lot to figure out in this episode. I think one thing about the last episode that confused me a little bit is the little girl being paralyzed by fear in front of the Titan eating her mom. I'm not exactly sure if that was paralysis of fear necessarily or more of she knew something was going on. I don't know if that makes any sense or if that matters, but maybe the little girl ties into something about the Titan for some reason. I still have a lot of questions about the Beast Titan and how it can speak English and how the Titans can communicate like with one another. I don't know. I don't want to think too deeply right now. I just want to get into this next episode and see if we can find anything else out. But yeah, we're going to get right into it. Just want to mention that I stream every single day of the week on twitch.tv slash TV. And without further ado, let's go ahead and watch more Attack on Titan. All right, so I'm starting the episode out from the very beginning. It was told to me that I should watch some of the opening scenes, especially on this season, so I don't miss anything. Let's go ahead and just start it here at zero, zero. So I think we're, yeah, we're opening up here with Connie and this weird looking Titan laying on top of his house. Still don't know if his family's dead or what exactly has happened here. It doesn't look like it's been ravaged though. There's no blood anywhere, there's no dead bodies. Something strange here. I was gonna say that too. Something feels very strange. Nah. Yeah. No dead bodies, huh? Everyone must have escaped! It seems a bit too optimistic for Attack on Titan, but maybe they were actually able to get away. Why would Titans obliterate these houses with nobody in them? Oh, theory! Maybe they think the basement is in one of these houses. And all the Titans are trying to get to the basement. Interesting. So the horses are left behind too. Things are so strange. Our mission is to locate and assess every Okay, I didn't get the chance to read that. <laughs> That's so strange how it's lying on top of his house and like the horses are left behind and- it Seems like certain houses are broken into, not all. Welcome home? Did that just speak- Oh my god, it's speaking to Connie! The heart's beating! Oh my god, what? Did nobody else hear that? Reiner, you had to have heard that! Reiner knows something, dude. I'm just saying that hundreds of thousands of lives depend on whether we can do this or not. He's trying to draw him away for some reason. This MF knows. He knows something's wrong. I think he heard it too. He's ignoring Connie. That is so weird. That might be Connie's mom. Is that Connie's mom? What the heck is that, dude? So it sounded like Connie heard his mom's voice through the body of the Titan. I think Reiner heard it as well, but he's choosing to ignore it and draw Connie away for some reason. I'm telling you guys, over and over again, there's something about Reiner that we don't know. I don't know what that means, but I think he knows something. I'm not saying that he's a titan. I'm not saying that like he's even a bad guy, but like what if he's in cahoots with the Wallace? All, I got so many different theories. There's so many things going through my head right now. But they, uh, they left. So I guess now is where the events of Annie versus Aaron kind of take place. That's a mind bender. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so here we go with episode number 28, officially Southwestward. I think this will be surrounding the events of Annie and Aaron. Not exactly sure what's gonna happen, but. Seven hours after the Titan spotting, Western team. So this is still before Aaron and Annie kind of happened, right? 
I don't recognize this guy. I see Ymir, right? Oh wait, I do. Was this was this person in the previous episode with Mike? I love Krista as a character, dude. She's easily simpable. I know how you feel, but you signed up for this as a soldier. How are we gonna fight without gear, though? I'm fine with putting my life on the line. And brave, the full package. <laughs> They're also inspired by Aaron. That's why they joined the scouts, really. Oh, the reason she joined was for what? Does Ymir have a thing for Krista? Got trying to convince me to join the military police. She's gonna go wherever she Krista goes. Is it the same kind of deal with Mikasa and Aaron? So she let her have a top 10 spot so she could join the military police if she wanted. I'm excited to learn more about Krista and Ymir because we didn't get much about them in season one. All the reason I'm here is for myself and nothing else. I don't know, some sweat on your forehead makes me think otherwise. I see that sweat, Ymir, you can't hide that. Thank goodness. What are those eyes? Dude, does she know more than we think she knows? I don't know. Oh my god, nine hours after the time spotting. So this is, who is chasing who right now? Progress come within range. This is intense. There's a lot of running and fire and cannons and death probably. Yo! Who was running away from the Titan? <gasps> Yo! Yo! I don't remember this person's name, but they're so sick. Rico. Captain Rico. Gotcha. Probably some new people have to keep track of their names and stuff this season. They attack as a group, the line won't stand a chance. But what is it? Something isn't... What? We haven't spotted a single Titan yet. Seems quiet around here. That's foreshadowing for bad stuff. They're gonna store up a, a stir up a storm for sure. It's gonna be some kind of death. This is Attack on Titan. Eleven hours after the Titan spotting. Okay, so a couple hours later. Any second they can leap out of the shadows. Are we about to get a jump scare? I don't want a jump scare. Please don't do it. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's about to happen. <gasps> Was a heartbeat or what was that? What happened? Okay, the two groups met up. We didn't find anything to the west. They didn't find anything to the east. At a crossroads together, and neither one of us found anything. So dark out. This is getting so intense so quickly. Is that a castle? Oh my god! I'm not exactly sure what where we're at positionally, but we just found a castle. I'm calling it now that castle's probably gonna be housing the beast titan. I'm just I'm just calling that now. I don't know if that is a thing or not, but I'm sure they're gonna go investigate. So we gotta see what's in the castle now. I'm calling it it's gonna be the beast titan. I'm just I was making an early prediction. Looks like a mess but we can make it work for the rest of the night. Duh though. They're gonna set up shop and this is gonna exactly where we're gonna get ambushed. This is gonna be so bad. Don't stay here. Find a a, a motel Five or a uh, Holiday Inn or something. Hey, four eyes. Are your hobbies so boring that playing with the rocks is somehow fun, fun for you? No ordinary rock. It's the crystallized body of um where where Annie crystallized herself, right? Annie reverted from a Titan, but it's still in fact it's still intact even though she reverted back. Gotcha. Is that a part of the crystallized structure or piece of her body? The wall is a barricade of. Humongous titans. So where Annie is, is just hardened skin, and the walls are skin. The walls have always been skin. Slap him in the face. You could use the titan hardened ability to seal a hole in the wall. So he's got to seal the hole in the wall for a second time. He literally just a repair man, dude. They're just using Aaron as flex tape. Yeah, this could be a good way to get him to Shinichina, and they can get to the basement. Oh, they're gonna make it all happen during the night because they learn from Sonny and Bean that Titans can't move at night. All depends on if Aaron can seal the hole or not. We know he has some issues using his powers in the past. I think he can do it. Yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine. This is true. We have no other option but you. Yes! He will do it. I'll do whatever it takes to seal the wall. He's gotta stay focused though. Remember Armin talking about him having to get past his humanity to save humanity at the beginning of the end of last season? Oh man, the key! Find the answer in Shinichin in the basement. This plan has to work in that case. So they're in a new district now. Now, is this a district we've been in before? Is this still a safe district? Or is everyone within the walls being evacuated here after the attack? They're not gonna let him leave. Take a good look at the faces of people who've lost everything because of him and his secrets. They'll all be gobbled up. Oh my god. Hopefully this guy changes his mind, but I don't know. 
Levi makes a convincing point. I will say, digestion does not sound awesome in the belly of a titan. He's still stuck on his old stuff, dude. This guy sucks. You should have killed him earlier. Too great a decision for a single person to make. What? Can inform you of a name who under the sacred will will be instructed to monitor. Who are this was a monitor? Join the scout regiment as of this year? A certain person? Don't stop them before the name comes up. Is this Sasha? No way, Sasha's the one. Unless she, she may know the truth, which we can't even perceive. It's like about Annie? It's definitely not Sasha. 104th, she's deep in the front lines right now. Okay, so not Annie either. Not Sasha. Oh, dude, poor Sasha. <laughs> I love Sasha so much. <laughs> she's so animated as a character. Oh, potato! <laughs> Long golden hair. Krista! Ymir? Okay, so are they looking for Ymir or Krista? Or both? You- Wait, Ymir what? Wait, Ymir did what? What did Ymir do? Oh no. Yeah, this is unfortunate, huh? There are Titans inbound. Here we go. They can move at night and they were wrong about them being dormant. This is so bad. These look like the same titans that the beast titan had commanded earlier. <gasps> the beast titan! He's here! Oh no! This is bad! Oh man, they're gonna start to tear this place down. We're going our own ways now. The rest is up to you. Use the most of your blades to protect Aaron at all costs. She's been doing it all series long. She's not gonna stop today. Oh man. Oh, this is so bad for them. I don't want to see Krista or Connie die or eat Ymir and Reiner. They seem lame. I had to drink right now if it wasn't for you. Is he really going to go after them right now? Show off our ODM gear? Yo! Yeah! All right. We got some fighting going on. Oh, uh, the Beast Titan's going for the wall. He's climbing the wall. He's on top of the wall. What in the world is going on? He's aware. Learn to restrain yourself. Don't succumb to rage and lose sight of the goal. Cause he could end up fighting for the wrong side by mistake. So the beast titan has made its way inside. Oh man. The build up for the next episode. I, I'm sure it's gonna end here. The build up is too good. Oh, it's too good. There's gotta be a lot to happen here. Man, my mind hurts a lot. I just don't have a direction for theories or anything. Like I straight up don't know what to believe or think or feel. That's how lost I am on this. Oh my God. Okay, so we can see that the Beast Titan apparently brought his squad with him to the castle to take care of everybody that's inside of the castle. I don't know what to think about the exchange between Reiner and Ymir right as that scene started where Reiner was like, I can't believe you, and then it cut out. Like, I think that Ymir did something crazy. Like, I, I don't know why I said Ymir knows more than we think she knows, but like, they, her and Reiner both seem like they do. They seem like they know more than they should know. And now the Beast Titan is on top of the walls about to make its way in. I don't know if that's where everybody just retreated to, if he's in another part of the walls. I, don't, I have no idea what the placement is. But now Hanji and Levi and Mikasa Arm and Aaron are on their way to the castle to help save the day. I'm pretty sure everybody that lunged for it after the Titans at the end of the episode is probably gonna die. I'm just calling that already. I don't know what's happening. I have no theories about the Beast Titan right now. <laughs> I'm so lost. Another crazy episode for Attack on Titan. As always, it's keeping with the general theme, huh? <laughs> Insanity. I enjoy this one a lot. I, I'm only kind of on a cliffhanger. I want to start the next episode right away and just see what happens next. But yeah, I guess we have to find out tomorrow. See if everybody survives, who dies. I'm sure, a lot of people are going to die because it's the Attack on Titan. But yeah, it's been a good one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. But if you did enjoy and don't mind doing so, make sure you go ahead and drop a sub like, a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I will see you in the next reaction video.